Hello everyone, welcome to the 2022 Glastonbury Festival vlogs. Just a heads up at the beginning, I'm thinking of editing and filming every day and posting them up as daily vlogs rather than posting the whole lot in one go because that takes forever to edit and get ready. So in order to get these out to you as soon as possible after the festival, I thought I'd do daily ones. So don't end at this one, go on to the next one. So first of all, welcome if you're new here. Welcome if you are about to go to the 2023 festival and have found this one. Um, do enjoy all my videos. I've got loads of Glaston old Glastonbury Festival videos to watch as well. And I really hope you enjoy watching and maybe I'll see you there. Give me a wave if you see me. Oh, another thing. <laughs> first of all, a quick explanation as to why I am at home and not beginning this vlog in a field. It's because I live in the village where Glastonbury Festival takes place. So we go in and out of the festival and we come home and sleep in a comfortable bed and have a shower. I mean, you would, wouldn't you? So the background noise is the traffic because there's still loads of traffic going past. Though I have to say yesterday evening's traffic was not as bad as usual, which is very, very odd. I think more people are actually arriving today on the Wednesday. Anyway, yeah, so just quick explanation, which is why you'll see me go and park in the villages parking field and go through the village's gate so all that sort of experience might be a little bit different to what you expect but do ask me any questions in the comments below if it's your first if you're watching this in 2023 and it's your first festival i'm very happy to offer any advice we've been coming since 1995 we've got we've done every festival since then so i'd probably be able to answer most of your questions Although I have come as a family, we brought our kids every year, so our experience might be a bit different to what, what you do. I mean, the festival site is huge. You can do the festival in so many different ways. You can spend the whole time in the dance village and never venture from there. Likewise, other in front of the pyramid stage. I don't know. Anyway, I'm babbling on now, so I will shut up and let's take you to the festival. Where are we going, kids? <laughs> Glastonbury! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hey, thank you. I'll also be doing an outfit of the day every day if I remember if I'm up in time and people aren't getting cross with me and waiting for me in the family. For me, part dressing up is part of the fun of the festival, so forgive me if it's not quite your thing. I'm going for a little bit of a pirate look today. Today's going to be really, really hot. So I just wanted something loose and flowy. I've got this light cotton t-shirt, which I think came from a jumble sale. These necklaces are, I worked this out just now and I couldn't believe it, they are 30 years old. <laughs> yeah, I've had them for a long time. This pirate medallion necklace, I only bought a few weeks ago though um, from Disney World. Underneath the t-shirt I'm wearing this dress, which I actually bought in the festival, I reckon about 20 years ago, from one of my favorite stalls, which actually inspired me to begin my clothing business, Threads of a Fairy Tale. I have to give them credit because I thought, I looked at those dresses and I thought, because they were quite pricey, I have to say, I could perhaps try making one of those. And I did, and that's how my clothing business was born. <laughs> Little fun fact for you there. And I don't, I would, Good to me. You keep your ticket. Do you have a preference? This one? This one, please. Is that a good tightness? Yes, yes. Squeeze that. It's all tight. Great. So you're good to go. Thank you very much. Have a great time. Are you excited to see anyone this weekend? Oh great, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for the recommendation. <laughs> thank you. We're here 
It's so exciting. We're actually here. Oh, that's cool. And Chris has now joined us and our shopping continues. <laughs> eight o'clock and this is just lovely the temperature is finally cool enough everyone's just chilling about it's such a nice atmosphere here <laughs> thank you hello well we are back home after the first day at the festival. There is just something about it. You just can't beat. The atmosphere is amazing. It was really good this year. Sometimes on the Wednesday, you get that sort of panicky feeling because everyone's trying to get their favorite campsite spot or people are a little bit stressed because it is, honestly, it is stressful going into the festival, particularly if you've got kids and you're, got miles to go if you want to camp in the family camping that sort of thing <laughs> but um, it was a really nice relaxed atmosphere there today so let me show you what I got because today the first day the Wednesday we always go around all the market stalls. well not the majority of the market stalls the main market area um, so that that's done we don't need to try and fit that in amongst the bands I mean it's always nice to have another wonder at other points and also you get to the point we did get to the point today where we've done enough browsing of stalls so there'll definitely be others that we want to go back to we didn't do any by Avalon and there's some usually usually some good ones there and there's also usually good stalls around the craft field areas and we didn't do any of that today either so we're spreading it out a little bit which is just as well because I am really tired really quite tired definitely got the steps in according to my watch this is what i got i took the, i didn't buy this here well i did buy this at the festival but i took the parasol in and i'm looking a little red actually that might be because it's gone nine o'clock and i haven't got the light on um because the lighting is always weird in here let me see if i can improve the lighting just a second okay that's brightened things up a little bit that looks a bit better anyway i took the power i bought the parasol in i I bought the parasol years ago at the festival and it's been one of the best things I've ever bought. It was 28 degrees today, really, really, really needed shade and quite often you just can't find it at the festival. There aren't enough trees and there's just something about the layout of the stalls that the shade doesn't seem to fall into the public area. So first of all, I'll show you what we were given as we came in. This is the bag design this year, a massive improvement on last year's bag. Who is it sponsored by? Is it sponsored by anybody? Oh, the co-op, sponsored by the co-op. But it's in little writing this time. I think last time it was quite garish and in your face. We care about the world we share. That's nice. Um, yeah, much prettier. And then on the back it says climate action. The time is now, the place is here, the change is you. And then there's the Glastonbury logo in the bottom there. So everybody with a ticket gets a free bag, which is actually really, really handy. And of course, if you haven't seen it, I did make, I've made two um, really nice dresses, even if I say so myself, which I've sold both of them on my shop, Threads of a Fairy Tale. But I might be trying to gather some more of these this year so I can carry on making some. Now that the design is better, last year it was 
really yeah, what was the like? same before the battery ran out just then um just that the colors are much nicer this year so i think i will gather some if i can find some leftovers on the monday so yeah i'll be doing that and make another dress perhaps for next year so let me know if you want one i've already had one order in so that's quite nice that's quite fun to gather them in in anticipation gather them in anticipation i don't know what i'm saying i'm tired you know what i mean <laughs> here's the program i quite like the logo this year the branding of glastonbury festival is not really my cup of tea but it's not too bad this year quite like the cover and yeah there's lots of information in the program loads of these don't even get looked at it's such a shame at the end of the festival i look around and so many are just still in the bags never once looked at and there's actually quite a good load of information in this we were also given this is the little guide the, the fine guide it was always called but it used to always be in a plastic lanyard so this year it's just on this clip because of the um no disposable plastic ethos of the festival so that's kind of fair enough but it's a lot of people kept their ticket in that lanyard in that lanyard so particularly for men who don't have bags that's they're gonna have to find somewhere to keep their ticket safe and then i picked up an extra map at the info point yeah here's a tip for you if you're going it's always worth going to the info point early on and getting one of these maps they're just so much more detailed so it just gives you an easy to follow map to help you get around uh, because the site is huge you just can't grasp it from that but that is it is huge <laughs> so that's that what else is in here i haven't seen what this is oh this is a flyer i picked up from an artist called i was about to say alice it's actually spelt a l c e so alce alke Al alche oh no i should have asked her because she was there in the stall now jude bought a print as well so i i don't know if these have got mixed up we'll find out it was just a really interesting style and you know how i've been getting if you're a regular on my channel i i am quite into art and i really did like her style but i found it difficult to picture it fitting in in our house so i didn't spend a lot of money she had a small selection of prints that were um like seconds i presume there's some sort of damage or the colors aren't quite right or something but i couldn't spot any damage and so i picked up two two prints from this section is this one mine yes it is so let me show these to you this is my favorite and this might find a place quite prominently let me stand back there we are i just loved the magical looking sky and the flags uh it, i just felt that was really atmospheric i really like that one and then the second one i bought was much more lively and picked up the more that was a more sort of calm peaceful part of glastonbury and then this one shows a little more of the vibrance and the energy that you get at the festival so this is taken looking over the tnc stands for theater and circus and actually i do spend uh, in fact all of us spend an awful lot of time in the theater and circus areas it's like a festival of its own you could just spend all your time there you really could because we spend a lot of time there i thought that would be a nice one to pick up i mean isn't that really cool i would really recommend you look her up i'll uh, put up her name there we go if you want to buy some glastonbury festival art that's definitely some of my favorite that i've seen done of the festival it's funny because i sat down to try and paint my own uh, about two weeks ago th two or three weeks ago and i just i just couldn't do it i don't know why i had this block and now that i've seen hers i'm a bit more inspired and i might have a go at doing my own glastonbury festival art i don't think it would be as good as this but we can we can but try and have fun in the process can't we and then i also bought a top no idea if it will fit because they didn't have a changing tent or a changing area at this particular stall but if it doesn't i can probably adjust this well i can adjust this that's something i do again if you're new here you might not know i do use reclaimed fabrics usually luxury fabrics if i can find them and create new things out of unwanted things so it kind of is my speciality to find something if it doesn't fit i can cut it up and make something new with it but i'm hoping it will fit it looks like it probably will but it's just this gorgeous this is really my color it really i 
things up my eyes <laughs> and um it's pure silk and just just a pretty little blouse top with some gorgeous pin tucking at the top there and that's that that's all i bought at the festival today an awful lot of vintage clothes it's always interesting to see the different sort of trends that come and go at the festival this year there were more vintage shops than i've ever seen i mean you usually get a few but there were loads loads of like old t-shirts cut to make crop tops and then elastic round the round the bottom of them so quite sort of young trendy wear really festival wear that sort of thing mm, i can't think of anything else to add to what we had today i had a disappointing crispy duck pancake well it was a, meant to be three pancakes and i had to try and scoop up oh i no i won't go into it but it was disappointing the food there is such a big variety of different types of food there that it's disappointing when you have a bit of a duff but never mind hopefully that's the one hopefully that's the one i'll get and now that's done and out of the way and hopefully anything i try from now on will be a bit more of a success so i'll stop babbling on and just leave you with the fireworks one of the reasons we've come home is because there's a star wars thing out this evening last in the series of, of obi-wan kenobi or something Chris and Jude are watching it right now, so if you can hear the music, that's what that is. So they really wanted to watch that today, so that's one of the reasons why we've come back. And the other is, the wait for the fireworks is excruciatingly long. When we were down there earlier at about eight o'clock, it's just at that point where you think, oh, I don't really want to go back, I don't really want to go home. And then you get to nine o'clock and you think, oh, I'm a little bit bored now. <laughs> And it seemed to take forever for this for the fireworks and the ceremony to start because it takes forever to get dark at this time of year. But anyway, I will show you that soon, and uh, and then I will see you again tomorrow. What's going on tomorrow? I don't think we. Oh, we'll talk about tomorrow. Tomorrow. Let's leave it here for now. I hope you enjoyed watching. If it if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're new here. I'd love to see you again not just for Glastonbury content but maybe try out a couple of my other videos and see if you'd like to subscribe and join me for some creative lifestyle content with some art with some sewing and doing up our house all sorts of bits and pieces hopefully you'll enjoy it and the other thing is please share this link with your friends if you think they'd like to see what's going on at Glastonbury festival then um, do send them the link I'd really appreciate it okay I'll stop waffling on this is dreadful See you soon. Take care. Bye.